This is actually uh, kind of three big ideas that I was coming through. So one from neural engineering, other from material science, and the third aspect from computer engineering. And having the expertise here locally is fantastic here at Washu. So we cannot create a sensor or a device as sophisticated as these guys. So can we take advantage of the biological olfaction, but read out in the way we want it, we want it to be? and solve practical challenges. There is a giant instrumentation system that you know, occupies the entire room. What we are doing is that we are shrinking that entire instrument, instrumentation system on this tiny chip. And the idea there is that these, this chip is to going to be implanted close to the um, thorax of the locust, and then there will be an electrode that will go from this chip into the, uh, the brain of the locust. And from there, we will record the neural activity. The chip is going to interpret what it means and then transmit a bit saying that, okay, I detected something useful. And of course, we want these, order, these, uh, these guys to go and sample the regions of interest. And for that, uh, Dr. Singerman in his group has come up with a plasmonic tattoo. But the role of this plasmonic patch is twofold. One, it is going to actually control the locomotion. We are hoping to control the locomotion of this insect or, the, or, or locust with external light. And the second aspect that this plasmonic patch is going to do is to be able to collect the analytes, wherever this locust is going to fly or sample, it's going to bring back some sample to analyze. And the analysis is going to, write, is going to happen right on the wing because we have these nanostructures. These are actually gold nanoparticles that not only collect the sample, but also they dramatically enhance the chemical signals that are coming from the molecules adsorbed on this, on this plasmonic patch. So we can steer them to the region of interest, sample which odors are being present, take the signals out of their electrical activity from the brain, and then infer whether a particular target is present or not. Say, for example, it's, it's an explosive that is comprised of trinitrotoline, which, which is TNT, which is a very popular explosive. So when they go to this, this site with a potential presence of these explosive molecules, then the explosive molecules are going to bind to these, these molecules that are present on, on these nanorods. And when the locust com comes back, we can analyze the, the patch that is present on the locust, and we can tell that, yes, it was actually indeed exposed to this TNT. So right now, our founder is Office of Naval Research. So obviously, they are interested in explosives. And that's one of the, one of the targets that we are after. But more generally, what we're after is to make a device that smells. So any applications where you can use chemical information to discriminate two different sets of importance, then we can use this particular application. So we have all these different pieces of the puzzle figured out already. So now it's the integration of SARCs, putting them all together, making sure they work in the way that we want them to work, and rigorously testing it. So I think I would expect a prototype putting all these pieces together, ready for lab testing, not to be confused with field testing by end of next year.